It's one of the great challenges that entrepreneurs face is bringing their new technologies to market, their unique ideas, their flash of genius, in a way that also allows them to not simply create value for consumers, but also to capture some of that value. So one of the kind of most important example, you know, very you know, striking example of that was the rather tragic story of Bob Kearns, the inventor of the intermittent windshield wiper. He sort of came up with this great idea, and then uh, he came up with this great idea. He developed it really in, with his children in his basement. He was a mechanical engineer, he had a PhD, he was a college professor, but he, but he was really unsophisticated about how to take that new technology to market. He uh, brought it to uh, Ford, who were very interested in the idea. He had won the windshield wiper competition. But then they were, un but from Ford's perspective, here was a guy with no experience, with no background in manufacturing, who wanted to manufacture windshield wipers for Ford Motors. And instead, they ended up producing it internally and cutting him out of the deal. It took him more than 20 years in patent court to ultimately recover some share of the, some share of the profits from his innovation. But the broader lesson is that it's very difficult for entrepreneurs to not simply create great ideas, but, but commercialize them in a way that allows them to also capture some of that value for themselves and for their stakeholders. So one of the pieces that we talk about are companies that are able to move beyond a simple product development model, a kind of linear model of innovation, and really to develop a, more, a, a, a broader portfolio of innovation opportunities that really tap into the different things that their different types of creative and knowledge workers are good at. One of the great companies that I think that we don't usually think of as an innovation company, but when you look at it as really it's a, innovation is the heart of their business, is Disney. Right? Disney is a company that's founded on one great idea, Mickey Mouse. And Mickey Mouse was himself. Right? Why do we know Mickey Mouse? It's because Disney himself made great technical advances in the creation of sound cartoons. Right? It's in what, right, right? Mickey Mouse was not simply a, uh, a, a great character, but he was a great character brought to life in an entirely new way. Over time, Disney has been a great company at being able to develop new organizational forms for the different types of innovation opportunities that they seek to pursue. So on the one hand, when they started to make motion, uh, feature, 11, feature length motion pictures with Snow White, how did they end up paying the workers? They moved from paying by the real, essentially paying um, for quantity, to a model where Dis Walt Disney himself would assess each animator's work and pay on quality, how they made great art. Over time, they've been able to develop different organizational forms, whether or not it was for Disneyland, whether or not it was for the various uh, 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 television products that they created, to create a great platform company that allows them to reuse the same design ideas again and again and create an innovation, a much more powerful innovation portfolio. The last part of the Disney story is that in the 1990s, of course, they faced the first important threat to their competitive advantage and their domination in family animation, and that was through Pixar. In the usual story, in many other parts of the information technology industry, that'd be the story about how Disney would let their competitive advantage slip away through competition with Pixar. Instead, Disney very proactively and constructively developed a long-term alliance with Pixar. It was a problematic alliance, ultimately leading to the ouster of the CEO of Disney, but ultimately resulting in the merger of Pixar and Disney allowing Pixar to really serve as the vanguard for another generation of creativity, innovation, and competitive advantage at Disney.